When I left school in 90, at the end of 1965, I was unemployed. You know how it is when you leave school. It's, it takes a long time for you to go into the workforce. And um, I always wanted an office job because I was trained for it. And lo and behold, the opportunity came. Um, it was a job in uh, Alexander Park. I, I remember feeling a bit dubious about it because I thought, my goodness, Alexander Park, how the hell am I going to get there? And it's a white area. And I felt very nervous. Anyway, I was taken to Alexander Park and I met uh, Ron Hubbard. And I was introduced to him for the solid handshake. It wasn't the norm thing. Because you're a boss, you don't shake hands with... Uh, you mainly, mainly shake hands when you're um, making a business deal or something. But Manus wasn't that smart. People never wanted to shake hands with a black person too. It was a matter of a nod, but he did go out and shook firmly the hand. And I remember that very, very clearly. They called me by my first name. He called me Sophie. He never said Miss Mitten. Nah, it was too impersonal. He already called me by my name. But I called him Mr. Mr. Hubbard because that is the way we were brought up. But you could see he was quite a, a jolly good person, you know. He didn't have airs and graces there. He didn't. I remember going to the office and he just like showed me what my, my duties were. And he would do a lot of uh, handwriting and I could decipher all his, because he wrote very clear not like a doctor, it was very, very easy to, to type his handwritten notes and took a fair bit of phone calls and sent lots of telexes to overseas. He was doing some project there. It was something to do with building, but I never knew what it was, but thought this must be massive, but it was all his specifications and, and you know, lens and type of wood and type of this materials and all like that. Sometimes I would start uh, later, and I would leave at 10 o'clock in the night. So I saw these meetings at the house. I remember seeing all these dignitaries, people of high places, politicians, prominent journalists, members of the Senate. They were all gathered there with Ron in this, in an in a, in a open room discussing matters pertaining to the political situation. So there was something that he was trying to show, by, to open up their eyes. And I'm sure, and I know, those people could see in f full view that he had some all different nationalities working for him. Because where the meeting was, it was in view of where we were. So there was no such thing as uh, go inside well, you know, it was all in an open view. So he was proud. He was proud of us. He made, and so we were proud as well that somebody was proud of us. So working for Ron was a very em emancipating experience. It freed me from all the feelings of being incompetent with no confidence. But after working for him, I gained a lot of uh, knowledge about myself that I could do anything with confidence. And he broke the stigma of all white. Mm. He redeemed us. <laughs> he did. Mm. He showed him away with no fear that he can do what his heart tells him to do. And his heart was right. So he left an imprint. He definitely did leave an imprint. So to Ron, if I had the chance to say anything, I would love to shake your hand again and feel your, your warmth of your hand because you heart and I would say thank you for, for what you've done.